So tomorrow morning we go back to the house and ransack it like nobody's business. Is that right? Well, I don't know about that. But at the very least, we tell Mr. Spencer that we caught the thief. I'm sure he'll give us access to whatever we need. Should we tell the police? All in due time. The danger's over. The thief is caught. Well, the thief is no longer a concern for the purposes of this case. We might as well make sure we have all our ducks in a row before we blab to anyone. You're right. You're always right, Frank. Say, you think Mom's still mad about yesterday? Uh, boys, before you leave, if I could have a word. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dad. Morning, boys. How's the case going? Well, we found the thief. But unfortunately, he was hit by a car and passed away shortly after. We didn't get much information out of him. But he told us that we needed to look deeper into the whole thing. Men on their deathbed rarely lie, boys. Yeah, we figured. We're gonna head back to Spencer Mansion and see if we can uncover anything else in a few minutes. The victim Samuel Spencer is a bit of a grouch. You're telling me. I had more than one run-in with Mr. Spencer when I was on the force. He struck me as a dishonest and greedy man. Please be careful when dealing with him. We will. How do you mean dishonest? Did he lie to you about anything? Well, he told me he was born in Oakwood, which is a small town in New Jersey, which wasn't true. He was actually born at Spencer Mansion, before it was actually called Spencer Mansion. What? Well, what was it before Spencer Mansion? Ingram Sanitarium. Now don't get that look. It wasn't for the criminally insane or anything, it was just a place for people who needed some help getting themselves back on track. This is news to us. I don't think he likes talking about the past much. Okay, well, thanks, Dad. Talk to you later. Be careful, boys. Hold on a minute. We need to talk about your mother. Uh-oh. Oh, she's still steaming about yesterday. I tried to smooth things over, but uh, I could use a little help. What can we do? Well, one thing you could do is make her her favorite breakfast. I'm sure she'll be calmer and more reasonable on a full stomach. Seriously? Oh, we're in the middle of a case here. Now, boys, don't be like that. If there's one thing I learned from my years on the force, it was that you have to balance your personal and professional lives, or you'll be in danger of losing both. Ah, uh, fine. That's the spirit. Mom's favorite French toast! Ah yes, the perfect antidote to poor behavior. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. I'll just borrow it. This could be useful. This could be useful.
I'll just take this. Could come in handy. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. That seems like the right amount. Smells great! I'll just borrow it. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't think that's a good idea at the moment. Have you made mom breakfast? No, not yet. We'll hop to it. I don't think that's a good idea at the moment. I'll just borrow it. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. I'll just borrow it. I don't think that's a good idea at the moment.
voila! A perfect slice of French toast. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. I smell French toast. It's actually forgiveness toast. Well, then it better be good. The boys work pretty hard at it. I saw them myself. Yes, well, no offense, dear, but you're always rushing to their defense. I will admit it smells pretty good, though. We're sorry, Mom. Your father explained the situation to me. I don't believe a word he said, but you are forgiven. That's my sugar muffin. Could you guys hold off on the affection until we leave? Fine by me. I have a plate of French toast to ravage before I can get to ravaging your father. Ew, Mom. Be careful, boys. 